so my name is Mary Stoll and I have been attending Grace Place for about seven years. My volunteering started um, when Pastor Clay did a message on tithing. You've heard the time, treasure, and talent that they talk about. It was that sermon series that was about tithing 10%, but not just tithing with necessarily your treasure. How does he do it? God wants to bless his church. Here's how he does it. Write this down. By blessing his people. That's you. Time, talent, treasure. He blesses you with those resources so that you can be a blessing. I didn't have much talent, but I did have some time at home. So I went to Monique and I told her that I wanted to volunteer. And she asked me if I liked to do puzzles. And I said, yeah, what do puzzles have to do with volunteering? Monique hates puzzles. <laughs> So she had a puzzle she needed help with. Turns out that at that time there was about a hundred volunteers and she needed somebody to make sure that every Sunday there were enough volunteers to serve. She happily handed that over to me. And then um, I kind of did that a little bit on a low key level for a couple of years um, working with Monique and from there, developed a wonderful relationship with Kim and her dream for children's ministry. Growing up, it was one of those things where controlling a little bit of schedules, <laughs> we'll be a little bit kind to myself, um, was not very appreciated by siblings, friends, to have somebody appreciate and value that was amazing. But even more than that was the other connections that were made, being able to see how God could um, use my little computer and a well and a little email of I'm praying for you. Um, to change somebody, somebody's world and not ever really knowing that it came from me, but knowing that somebody cared enough to share their story and get them some help when they were in trouble. And doing stuff like that was so rewarding, but it never dawned on me that somebody else wouldn't have thought to do that. That was always a part of me that I thought I had to suppress and devalue. When it, I took on the role as the schedule master, it suddenly became something that was, wasn't suppressed, but was grown and valued by God. Even those parts of me that nobody else growing up ever appreciated suddenly became the the parts of me that everybody in my world valued. And it gave me a whole new look at who I was in relation to who God made me. The, the change within myself, I've got confidence in who I am. I know that even the parts of me that I always thought were the worst parts of me that nobody could ever love, those were the very parts of me that God used in the role of schedule master to teach me that I am loved and that I am valued. Four years later, I've got friends. I've never had Christian friends before, and I've now got more than I can count. I've got people I can call upon to pray for me when I'm about ready to strangle my seven-year-old because she's yelling at me again. Um, and it all came from me just being willing to say yes, Lord, I, I have a little bit and I'm willing to give it to you.